Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we explore the fascinating world of measurements. Today, we're going to dive into a common question. How many ounces are in a cup? So, let's get started. To understand the relationship between cups and ounces, let's break it down. In the United States, a cup is a commonly used unit for measuring liquids and dry ingredients in cooking and baking. Now, here comes the important part. In the US, one cup is equal to 8 fluid ounces. That means if you have a measuring cup, and you fill it with a liquid, you'll have 8 fluid ounces in that cup. Now, it's important to note that this conversion applies specifically to fluid ounces, which measure volume, not weight. It's a bit different from the ounces used to measure weight, like on a scale. So, when we're talking about cups and ounces, we're referring to volume. But what about measuring dry ingredients, like flour or sugar? Well, in this case, the volume to weight conversion may vary depending on the ingredient. For example, one cup of all-purpose flour generally weighs around 4.5 to 5 ounces. But remember, this can vary, so it's always a good idea to check the specific weight conversions for different ingredients. To recap, in the United States, there are 8 fluid ounces in one cup. However, when it comes to measuring dry ingredients, the weight of one cup may vary depending on the specific ingredient. And there you have it. Now you know the relationship between cups and ounces. Whether you're baking a delicious cake or simply following a recipe, understanding these measurements will definitely come in handy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting topics. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy me measuring!